So let's jump in and take a look, shall we? Oh, oh, it's over. It's over. What's up, guys? Asai or Alec here. Uh, back on the channel and today with a very very special video today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video now the reason for this specific unboxing is that this has been a project that has been in the works for about a year now and it seems that a lot of things are coming together when it comes to custom guitars. Just been a giant group of a lot of really talented and very smart people working on basically the perfect Guitar Hero guitar, not just for casual players, but for pro players as well, or higher skilled players, you know what I mean. So my buddy JP, who actually goes by 760, specifically created the guitar called the Destroyer. Yes, as an homage to a be all end all piece of hardware that uh, we used back in the day for rock band drums, this is supposed to be the equivalent for guitars. If you're not surprised by how I'm talking about that, uh, I definitely do go through a bunch of guitar strum bars, as you can see by a little bit of the graveyard that's already piling up. So let's jump in and take a look, shall we? Oh baby, and there it is, there it is, the Destroyer guitar made specially for me you can take a look at this decal that was created by my boy jay durand and the decal was applied by super katana as well slide that in oh man oh my god oh no <gasps> oh Oh, 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 it's over. It's over. Oh, dude, this is it. Oh my God, dude, this is it. Listen to that. I've been waiting a long time. I've been waiting a long time uh, for something like this, man. I'm just in disbelief right now. I am in disbelief here. I am impressed. Holy moly. Mechanical frets. Mechanical frets. You heard that right if you don't know what mechanical frets are look you got one of these you got one of these gaming keyboards man yo yo the mechanical ones the light up ones right it sounds and feels like that those are the frets those are the frets that are inside of this thing man oh my god that feels good unbelievable so before before we get even crazier with this i want to talk a little bit about travel distance and why this is important okay It'll make sense in a moment. Back when I was first starting streaming, okay, I want to say like 2015, late 2015, all the way up until late 2018, right? I was using this here Xbox 360 guitar. And what matters here is the travel distance. So if you take a look, if you take a look at these frets, they look just fine. It takes a little bit for it to travel down. It doesn't look too far, but honestly, when you feel it, it does feel a little bit mushy. Um, that was a bit of an issue for a while for me, but honestly, it, improvise, adapt, overcome, uh, stuff like that. Uh, come late 2018 or so, everybody's using Wii guitars. We, we find out that Wii guitars are uh, essentially the best experience uh, for low latency, stuff like that for anyone who's trying to achieve a higher level in Guitar Hero. Um, check out the travel distance on these bad boys. Basically, almost nothing almost nothing compared to you would have to push down pretty far for it to replicate the xbox 360 travel distance it has a more clackier feel and the actuation force is just it's so so much lower um than uh, its xbox 360 counterparts now this guitar right here was made by super ryan super ryan also uh worked behind the ideas of the destroyer guitar um but this was like one of his first iterations of it and you can see right here that the force, the, the travel distance is giant. Look it, look at that. It makes the action of sliding almost a little bit painful too. If you're sliding from green to red, stuff like that, I mean, your finger's gonna get stuck. It's like the Grand Canyon right there. Um, so that was a big, that was a big obstacle that JP um, 760 and and Super Ryan and all those guys Super Katana were working with for a while. Here, these are all these are the new mechanical frets that, that you see right here on the Destroyer. Look at this. Uh, look at the travel distance here. Now 
may be comparable, but man, look at that sliding. Look at that. I was having some trouble sliding on those previous mechanical frets, and it was just, man, it is a world of a difference. I, I'm not even trying here. So, that being said, oh my. Oh my god, dude. Oh, don't even get me started on the strum bar. I know there's a lot of haters out here on the World Tour guitar. For good reason. I understand. It's some of the... It was probably one of the most fragile Guitar Hero uh, guitars to ever exist. But, my boy JP here... Oh, man. Feels almost identical to, like, a Guitar Hero 5. Uh, the strum switch is inside of a Guitar Hero 5 guitar. And he's using these switches right here. Um, Kale Box Navy uh, switches that use uh like a click bar so that it instead of a click leaves pretty fragile in terms of uh you know guitar hero guitars and so um i know even the world tour guitar wasn't didn't even use these guitar hero world tour guitars used micro switches uh and jp just said get and just <laughs> use these are like superior superior switches uh, supposedly he's told me that these are never gonna over strum so like over strumming is like when uh, when you strum down on the strum bar and then it'll just like it'll break your combo for no reason or you swear to god you strum and it just does like three extra strums for no reason so this one will never over strum yeah I specifically requested uh, something that doesn't have to do a one finger rake because I'm sick of my guitars just over strumming and just Ah, makes the game so much less fun for me. I specifically requested something that will last me a long time. So with that being said, this is also uh, this is also a Wii variant. I'm gonna get some time in with this guitar. Enjoy this like ASMR montage of me playing on the Destroyer. Enjoy. <laughs> They feel as good as they sound. I swear to God. Woo! Oh, oh man. Oh, they feel so good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just glad this still works. Like for real. Look how early I'm hitting a man. guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed uh my reaction to this unboxing this gives me really really good hope for the future for custom guitars like this one big shout out one more time 
to Super Katana for the custom PCB and the research, Super Ryan and Blue Chaos for the mech fret model, um, Jeremy J. Durand for the faceplate, Fire Exit Man for also testing the mech frets with them, and JP for putting this all together and sending this to me without any issue. So yeah, go follow their socials for any info for custom guitars, stuff like this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you.